from Hawaii. <laughs> Every little drop in temperature, I'm like freezing. That's crazy, right? When markets were crazy hot, everyone was, people, some people were complaining, it's too crazy, I can't make it, anything of it's too random. Now it's too slow. We just said two, two spoils. Yes, we said two spoils. So let me get to start, guys. Welcome back. Good to be back, guys. Thanks to the MIC team to hold it up while I was away. Just shows that MIC is just not about me. Hopefully one day I can just kind of disappear for a while longer. A week is... I'm still tired as hell, man. A week is not long enough. Maybe take a sabbatical, a whole three-month sabbatical, right? I don't think I survived that long without trading, though, to be honest. Um, so welcome back, guys. <clears throat> Today was a super slow day. But to me, dude, I've been trading full-time for, geez, man, probably... 15 plus years now even longer I, I can't remember I'm too freaking it's been too long so I've seen all sorts of cycles guys this is normal to me I there's really no panic no worry there's still stocks to make money off I made money today I, I, I so what so what happens is this dude I'll talk I'll recap really quickly when I take a week off and I come back first thing I need to do is need to acclimate myself physically back because trading you know is as much mental but also physical because you have to wake up so early in california my gosh i gotta wake up at today i put my alarm clock at 5 a.m so i got up at 5 a.m but when i was in hawaii 5 a.m was 2 a.m and at 2 a.m i was still drinking so coming back, it was really hard to wake up. Really, really hard due to the time zone difference. So I took it easy when I woke up. I traded probably a third of the size I'd normally trade. This is a starter. And it's so slow. You can't really add to a winner. You can't really get any much size because it only hits my starters. You see my charts? Most of the stocks just hit my starters. I didn't really have time to accumulate or to do anything. So, you know, during these times, you nail and bail. I mean, I still made like 1,500 bucks, which is like in less than an hour of training, which is, I mean, it's not in the $100,000, but shit, man. People getting fucking spoiled. That's the thing I hate about about these gurus, man. These guys that have been banking and just started trading. And when they just started trading, they got lucky. They got lucky they fell into a good market where stocks went up. Just went up. You buy anything, went up. For the past year, that's what happened, right? The market kept on going up. Now reality hits, I see the pumpers crying. Cry, cry, cry. I can't find a play. I gave up all my gains. Well, you're gonna keep hearing them cry if it goes down, guys. There's no edge in pumping unless you are the pumper. If you are the sheep, you will fucking get burnt. Okay, so gotta go learn how to trade, guys. I, people laugh at scalping. People laugh about these things, but I've been doing this shit for fucking 15, 20 years, guys. It's another day in the fucking neighborhood for me, man. It's the same boring shit every fucking day. That means I'm making money. <laughs> so today was another boring day. It's Markets are slow. So it's boring, but you know what? I mean, shit, to make 1500 bucks in an hour, less than an hour, I mean, who's going to complain, right? I mean, shit, yeah, there's guys making $100 million a year. I mean, dude, whoop-de-doo. You have to focus on yourself, guys. Stop complaining. We are fucking so fucking blessed. You being able to learn how to trade, you being able to just make $100 an hour scalping, that's phenomenal money. 100 bucks an hour scalping. This is supplemental income, guys. So, do I think the, do, I'm not going to be worried about the markets? This is the markets. It's normal, man. The markets have been up for 12 years. In my opinion, it's going to go down. It has to. Cyclical economics it's just the economy cycle man <clears throat> economic normal cycle can i be a bull market forever learn to trade guys you, there's still money to be made how much money is up to you but you, i but don't get into this thing where you're crying and you're crying it's like dude just a normal other day guys don't be spoiled the moment i hear people crying that means we are way too spoiled 
We're making money still. I mean, I'm not gonna jinx myself, but dude, I came back, traded a third of my size, still did okay on a super weak, super hardly any meat. Got some good trades in, did not size up at all. I was super small size. You know, back to the normal thing, guys. So use this time to learn. Use this time to watch videos. Use this time to vacation. That's what, so I'll tell you how the markets were normally before the pandemic. Markets, we used to, the markets used to be super hot and then it cools down during the, towards the summer. Summer is gonna be dead because people need to go on vacation and stuff. So the old timers like myself, you know, we timed our vacations to the summer because when the kids come out, things like that, which is normal. So I, I to me, I, I'm looking at this, I'm like, we've been spoiled for the past year, guys. Super spoiled. I've seen guys making ridiculous amounts of money. Ridiculous amounts of money. And they're complaining. I mean, dude, they, they, these guys do not understand. They're going to give back all their fucking money. And you start to see that already. Guys that have not been making money before and making money, and then they're all getting fucking arrogant things. They're the shit. It's like, wow, you just discovered a penis. <laughs> you just discovered a penis on your body, bro. Keep playing with yourself, right? <laughs> a, that's what happens when a little kid just finds his own penis and you know he starts to play with it. That, that's the normal way it is. And so I see a lot of these traders are like that. Little kids that just found a penis. And they've been just fucking jerking themselves off and thinking of the shits. But you know, I just kind of laugh. Uh, the key guys, keep yourself humble. Up, down, don't matter. Don't. You know, man, we're very blessed to do what we do. Karma is going to fuck everybody up if they keep being arrogant. Um, but I, the process works, man. I don't know what to tell you. This process I've been using for fucking 15, 20 years, I've been fucking working, right? I come back from a vacation, I'm still making money on a shitty-ass market. And, and, and to be honest, I didn't know what the fuck was running last week. I didn't even turn on my computer one time last week. So obviously... It works. Take a look at my charts. My charts are still dead on. The only difference today was I size ridiculously small peanut size. Peanuts. Because <laughs> I just came back and I hear all these guys crying. So I'm thinking, damn, the market must suck. I hear everyone crying. Boo -hoo 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 -hoo. So I kind of I kind of sized down unnecessarily. But that was good because I had a lot of FOMO. The first time that you trade after a long break, you tend to get very much anxious. Don't want to miss a trade. You want to just make up for the lost time. And so I've been very good at discipline lately, guys. That's what I've been working on. I've been having more patience for my entries. You know, and I'm being okay with missing trades nowadays. When I was younger, I didn't. I was very arrogant. I wanted to be the best. I I never wanted to miss a trade. I was pissed off when I didn't top tick, bottom tick, shit like that, you know, which, you know, made me money, but also made me lose a lot of money. But during that time, I learned a lot. I turned, I learned that, guys, trading is not about trading all the time. Being a full-time trader does not mean trading all the time. Being a full-time trader means having the time to be able to sit and wait for your plays. That's the advantage I have versus someone that is working. Someone that's working is not being able to sit down all day and to wait for the trade. But we have developed a system, MIC, where, you know, supplement of your income, the first hour is pretty much, you can make most of your money in the first hour, which I do anyways. Um, and so the key to trading is to, to have a repeatable system, guys, a repeatable, consistent system with low risk, okay? With low risk. And I think we've proven that. I mean, I've, I, I'm not going to jinx myself by telling you how many months of greenage I had in a row, but knock on wood, right? But, you know, this shit works. The problem is up to us, okay? And you, it's normal, man. You're not going to be fucking getting a supermarket all the time. So, I really don't know what else to tell you, except this is normal, guys. This is fucking normal. You know, what not normal, this is just to slow down the market. When you start to see stocks start to tank big time, then you can go, oh shit, 
It's not there yet, but it may be. This is when you learn discipline as a long bias trader, guys. Market's been up. When, when it comes down to slow markets like this, you have to be very careful. This is when discipline comes into play. If you have a shady system, which these pumpers do, because all they do is pump, this is why they lose. They are not good traders. If they're good traders, they wouldn't be fucking pumping. Well, if you're a good trader and you're an asshole, you pump too, but I'm not an asshole, right? So you don't see me fucking pump. To each their own. I welcome the pumpers. The pumpers have been actually blocking me all over the place. I don't know why. Yeah, I guess I know why, but but uh, any questions, guys? I'm gonna take a few questions and then uh, my first day back. I really don't know what to say. I'm trying to acclimate myself back. I'm really tired, but I made it out here I'm trying to get back to the routine. So, like a golfer, like a sports athlete, the key is to always get into a routine. The moment you get out of your routine is when you lose. So, you wake up one day, you're making money all the time, all of a sudden the market slows down, and you're like, what the fuck? So you already broken your routine by complaining. You know, you go from 10 plays, 10 trades, first hour to maybe one or two trades. That's, that's what it is, man. <laughs> it is what it is, right? But the moment you start to complain, you see your energy your focus changed and now you're looking for sub par B or C setups just to try to keep busy guys how long can this cycle last how long did the bull cycle last the bull cycle lasted 12 years it lasts when it lasts guys to me I don't time the market guys I just wait for my lines I just wait for my plays I, I have a niche you know, my, I focus on my niche. I don't need to be the guy that, that can predict where the general markets go. I can care less, guys. What I do is I'm very focused on my niche. My niche has yielded me a lot of money over the years. Without me having to be an economics expert on Japan, on China, I don't give a damn about that shit, right? I just wait for my lines, I know my niche, and I focus on my niche. So what happens is this, guys. The guys that are complaining is a one-trick pony. The pumpers, all they know is pumping. They don't know anything else. Without fucking sheep, they're dead. And sheep got skinned. So how do you do this, guys? First thing, when you start, you, you have to find a bread and butter one play that you become consistent at. So focus on one type of setup that makes you consistent. The moment you become a little consistent, more consistent, then expand out. Never become complacent and sit on one strategy all your life. I have a ton of strategies I work in every single market. Knock on wood, right? So when you start making money, not even making money, when you become consistent, start to branch out, have more tool in the box. It's just like an MMA fighter. Look at Ben Askren. He is a fucking top level wrestler. That's all he fucking knows. And he's fighting a fucking YouTube kid who fucking knocked his ass out. It's embarrassing as hell. You imagine during his time wrestling, MMA, he learned more than just a one-trick pony grappling thing. He, he might have fucking been a great striker. Who knows? He never needed to because he, his go-to was grappling. And now it slows down, grapp more because he's not doing it anymore. And what does he have left? He has no fucking skills. Same thing with trading. When you become consistent at one skill, expand, guys. Learn. So you have a lot of toolbox. The best MMA guys, you can consider that to be the trader. They can fucking adapt to the opponent. The opponent is the market. You know, new kids are coming out. They're learning new shit. But the guys like John Jones... Who are well diversified and know a lot of tools are keeping up with now the third generation of algos, third generation of fucking opponents, right? Market conditions, things like that, guys. I keep telling the guys in the room all the time, you know, like, dude, I don't know why you, why you like, okay, I have nothing to trade, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm like, dude, learn a new, if bow, if me. If I'm still scalping, there's still money to be made. 
It means you can learn a new strategy, guys. Take a look at my charts today, guys. There are always plays. It's just, are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Do you understand how to fight that opponent? Okay? And, you, and don't be afraid. You have to learn. Every expert wants a beginner, guys. So I say this. Use this downtime. Markets are slow to learn a new strategy. You don't have to trade real money, guys. Pay for trade. But the key is this is slow enough markets where you're not going to get run over. It's so slow where you have time to think. This is the time to learn a new strategy, guys. Join MIC and learn a new strategy. I've been teaching. for the, Before I left on vacation, I was teaching everybody's channel trading. That right now is working really great in a slow market. Because it's a slow... There's nothing moving, right? It's flat. And so, stocks are channeling. Everyone's waiting for a giant move. It's not going to fucking come. It hasn't come. When it does come, it comes. But until then, I'm still making money. Channel trading. Things like that, guys. There's a lot of different strategies you can learn. Scalping, swing trading. Uh, we even have options in large cap now, you know? Oh, and happy 420. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I need an edible right now. I'm pretty tired. But any questions, guys? I will take a couple of questions that I'm going to call it a day. Keep it short and sweet. Yep, we teach options. These small cap, large cap. Any questions, guys? Stick to the process. Learn the process. Do not deviate from the process. That's how you lose, guys. Today, notice I... I didn't make a single trade all pre-market. I made the first trade like probably five minutes after the open. You know, it, was, it took a long time. I still made money. It's not a lot. I mean, a lot of money is relative. I mean, fuck, dude. When I was, when I was fucking young, you know, you're making 100, 200 bucks a day and you're fucking happy. You imagine sitting your ass and doing that, right? So supplement your income. We have gotten very, very greedy over the years, guys. Very entitled. All these questions, guys. We teach at MIC. You know? We teach you where to enter, where to exit. I just don't understand why people are still trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> I mean, the, today was a super slow day, guys. Super slow. But I still squeeze out decent living. I mean, I mean I'm just waiting for the... For when it comes back up. If 1500 bucks and walking like 30 minutes is a bad day, then oh fuck man, you, then you got some more problems to worry about than just fucking trading, right? That you're just you know that's not enough money for you. But slowest market ever. <laughs> you don't know what the slowest market ever is, brother. You guys just started trading. There have been lots of years which is last slower than this, guys. I'm still making money. There's still fucking range right now. This is not the slowest market. I've seen shit where, dude, literally there's nothing on the scanner. Today was still stuff on the scanner, guys. This is not the slowest ever. Don't make it dramatic. So that's why when I came back, I wanted to come back to show you everybody that this is not the slowest market. There's still money to be made. You know, you just have to learn a new strategy. You know, waiting for giant ass moves ain't gonna fucking work no more. Until it does, you know. I still make money scalping. Learn how to scalp. Look how channel trade. Just remember, a thousand shares, making ten cents, twenty cents. That's a hundred, two hundred bucks, guys. You have all fucking morning to pick one entry to make your two hundred dollars. Okay, you, you, if you make two hundred bucks a day on the average, consistently, I think you'd be very happy, and that would change your life, change most people's lives, to supplement their income at just two hundred bucks a day. That means that you can go out into any restaurant. Door dash anything you fucking want. That's life changing to me. You know, you don't have to fucking stay at the penthouse. But being able to door dash anything you want is fucking life changing, right guys? You don't have to cook anymore. And a maid will cost you hundred bucks every two weeks. Think about it, dude. Now you have your food provided for, you have your maid service provided for. That's fucking life changing. So stop fucking thinking. You need to make thousands of dollars every fucking click. Stop thinking you need to make $100,000 a day. 
Fuck those guys, man. Fuck those guys. Life changing, bro. 200 bucks, 100 bucks. Supplemental income. Do not quit your job. All right? That's to me is fucking life changing. And the blueprint. The blueprint for $1,000 a day is $100 a day consistent. The blueprint. So if, it, if I can make $1,000 consistent every fucking day, $2,000, that on a good day, I can make 10, 50,000. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing with you. If you can make $100, $200 consistently on a good day, you can make $1,000. It's the same process, guys. It's very scalable what we, what we, what we do and what we teach. So happy 420. Get fucking stoned. It's a slow day, so maybe it's a good day for you to fucking get stoned. You know? But like I tell you, man, you cannot make a thousand dollar day consistently unless you can make a hundred dollars a day consistently. Level up. And fuck these guys, low day, whatever. You can still squeeze out your couple hundred bucks. I squeeze out a couple thousand dollars. And I'm still fucking walking around enjoying my fucking life, guys. Alright guys, so I'll see you back in the room, guys. Have a good day, guys. Yeah. Alright, see you back in the room, guys.